One of the questions that I hear asked a lot is in regards to branding. What is branding? Do I have to brand my business? Uh, what does that mean in, per, in reference to a logo? Do I have to have colors? Is it going to cost a lot of money? Um, do I have to have this stuff? Bottom line, do I have to focus on branding? Do I have to have a logo? Short and simple answer to that question, no. You don't have to. Um, what branding is, is it's bringing your colors, your fonts, your themes together, the theme of who you are, what you do, and it's really creating a brand recognition, creating an identifiable uh, picture, an image, a logo would be a something that, that evokes emotion when somebody sees that. And so no, you don't have to have that. You can just use text, you can write that out, you can put it into a font, use Photoshop, Illustrator, whatever that is, just digitize something. Um, maybe you have somebody, you have a friend that's creative that can create um, a logo for you and it can be actually really cost effective. You could even draw something out and you can then vectorize that. But bottom line, why do I need branding? Why is it important? Why, does it, why is it necessary to have a logo and have specific colors associated with my brand? As an example, think of some brands that you might know. Uh, right off the top of my head, maybe Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Amazon, right? These are products or services. They provide a service and they, which you can purchase a product through. Um, but you see these brands and you have colors that are associated with these brands. You see these logos probably a couple of times a day. Uh, you see them on trucks, you see them on boxes, you see them all over the place. And the reality is that we start to uh, build up an, an understanding of what that company does. It evokes an emotion that uh, of a memory that we have associated with something that we've purchased from that service or the product that we've used, consumed, however that may be. An example, the other day I was on the road driving with my three-year-old daughter in the back seat and she looks out the window as we come to a stop sign and a stoplight and she says, Dad, can we go get a sucker? She's looking out the window. Dad, can we go get a sucker? So I look up in the rearview mirror. I look back at her and I say, a sucker? Where, where would we go to get a sucker? And she said, there, at the bank. Well, so we, had, we were at the bank. The stoplight was right next to the bank in town, the bank that we normally go to. However, she's gone through the bank. She's gone through the drive-thru. She's gone into inside of the bank, she gets a piece of candy. It's great marketing, great, uh, great strategy on the bank's part, but she knows that. However, this particular location, she had never actually been to. She didn't actually know where this place was. It was a similar color on the outside, but really what drew her in and what, what grabbed her attention was not the building. The building doesn't look the same at all. It may have similar colors on the outside. It was the logo, the logo that was on the sign in front of the building. It had the same colors, it had the same character, and that's what drew her in. That's what grabbed her attention. And she knew that if she went in here, although she had never been inside of that building, she had never driven through the drive through I don't even know if she had actually driven by that building before, but what she recognized was the logo and the colors associated knowing that inside of a building that has that sign on it, there's a piece of candy waiting for her. I mean, the branding aspect of a business is so important and you don't have to have it, no, but it could be important and useful to what you're doing because as you treat customers well, as you, as you treat people well, as you build relationship with people, they're going to see your brand, they're going to notice your logo, and they're going to come back to you. The best part about a logo is that it can carry characteristics and character traits of who you are, what you do, and your personality. Your colors can incorporate with your personality. And so does my logo say that I'm a marketing agency? The Washington Concept logo? No, it does not. not, not at all. It, but it incorporates mountains, it incorporates trees, and the W and the C from Washington Concept. It incorporates these things and that's what we've chosen to do and we use that as branding. We could add marketing as a tagline, marketing agency, we could add whatever we, we want to, to to clarify that. But at the end of the day, We've focused on just making the logo part of the brand. What we strive to create on a regular basis is identity within that logo and some personality and some relationship within that logo. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Maybe you have somebody that can help you with it. Get a hold of a friend, get a hold of somebody and start talking about that. But the bottom line is that when a three-year-old is able to recognize just because of the color, she can't read yet, 
but she recognized the colors, she recognized the character in the logo, and that's what drew her attention in. What does your branding look like? You have questions? Ask me. Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to help out if I can, and uh, if I can't, I'll point you in the right direction.